We are in the Sanyapo right now, Huawei Sanyapo. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. this place is just like a training agency for Huawei partners. And you can, uh, we can invite our uh, corporate partners here to, to enjoy, to learn, and to get our latest technologies and services. Okay, okay so when you bring out, say, let's say you're bringing out um, Harmony OS 2, mm -hmm. you would invite developers here to learn more about the intricacies of, of this, would you? Yeah, of course, of course. And you talk about later, as you're talking about software and hardware technologies. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah. for example, if you're working on some, some new area of 5G, you would invite sort of um, telco network people, engineers here of course, to learn yeah. about this kind of thing. Okay, that's yeah. cool, yeah. Right, All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go and have a look. Church, man. That is really cool, look at that. Got the spire and everything, man. Oh, I feel like nice. going back to university. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's like walking around a top end London university, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to Oxford or Cambridge. Yeah. yeah. I noticed in the, the keynote yesterday that one of the things I noticed uh, if you look at a company like um, Xiaomi, for instance, mm -hmm. they've gone down the road of producing all or a lot of their own branded IoT things. Whereas Huawei have took kind of a different route and they've partnered with many big brands that are already in China, like Midi and, uh -huh. and, and Joy, Joy Young. And, uh, Joe Young. Yeah, yeah, and Joe they've, Young. you know, you've, you've open sourced the, the code to them so they can build that code into all their appliances. So yeah. you'll have like a, a huge amount of appliances that you can all connect into um, the Huawei system yeah ecosystem control. yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. I think that's a very interesting way that it's been done because you know you can't manufacture everything yeah of course but you can have you know your code built into so many different manufacturers appliances that you can then just hook it into the Huawei ecosystem yeah. today we have been brought here by Huawei uh, we've actually this is the second day we're in Dongguan which is just a neighboring city to Shenzhen and yesterday we made a video around their campus uh, where the research and development team do work it's an incredible camp campus it's like hog from Harry Potter. We made a video about it, go and check that out, I'll drop a card. Go and check that out before coming back to this one. All right, cool, now you're back. So we're at a, um, a tech exhibition where you hear a lot about AI, you hear about 5G, but many of you might not know how these um, you know, affect daily life. So this is an exhibition to show how 5G and AI and Huawei's tech is going to give real life applications um, you know, to, to affect people's daily lives. So we're walking around this exhibition, we're going to show you some of the coolest, most innovative tech and we're like kids in a sweet shop here because we're kind of you know, passionate about it. So we're walking around and seeing all this cool stuff and it is just unbelievable the stuff you're about to see. So stick around. This room is, uh, there's a lot going on in here. Yeah, so this, this shows all how technology can be used and what it'll be doing and, and all that kind of thing. Because there's so many applications to Huawei's new technologies like 5G in particular and AI working in conjunction together to work wonders. And a lot of people might not know you know the real life applications of these technologies. So this room is is you know showing that. 
So this is a virtual rowing machine using a TV and you can like pick all sorts of different places you want to be in the world. If you want to be in a beach, bam, you're in the Maldives. If you want to be in the jungle, bam, you're in Peru. I'm currently with the watch and this is going to pick up my uh, body stance all the way to the top. Gonna be getting a sweat on after that. Sumi, 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 that's how you, Sumi, that's how you. Ciao, yo. Ciao, 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 ciao. Oh, mate, that's funny. I bet you want to stop now, don't you? Only halfway. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so proud. Have an idea, have an idea. Okay, okay. Both gonna stop. Come on, come on. Who won? Oh, you're the winner. How was that? <laughs> Got a certificate. Say hello to the video. Yeah, these, these, these boys have just recognised us. It's good to meet you guys. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. So what we're going to do now, we're going to simulate like we're in a meeting in maybe different parts of the world. So the guys in this sort of soundproof booth are going to talk into this. And it's basically going to give real time translation, even though one person is speaking Chinese and the other person is speaking English. So that's a... Uh, that's a really cool use. Hello, Li. Today, you feel how? Yeah, I'm feeling good today. So basically, behind me, he's just spoken Chinese into the phone, and it's given a real life, a real time translation on the phone that Dad's using. So they're able to communicate even when it's in different languages, just maybe with a second or two delay between each sentence. I've never seen that before. Technology. I've got a big ass gun here and I'm about to put the goggles on to play some sort of shooting game. Alright, so. Okay, so uh, here he comes, Mr. Simon uh, Cowell oh, with our know, open shirt. Oh, I see, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the gun, like. Alright, so. <laughs> he looks so funny, he's getting so involved. I'm so into this, man. I have no idea where he's pointed. He's just pointing into space. Can you see the TV? Oh, mate, this is quality. <laughs> oh, mate. That's funny, that is. I like that. So what we have here is a collaboration between Huawei and Samsonite. And it's basically a digital luggage queue. And instead of buffing about with the numbers, you hold your phone to here, you get this tick, and then you can open the case. And uh, just slow less buffing because the key is in your phone and that's obviously unique to you as well. Yeah, so you don't need any like, you don't even need to remember your password. And you know, unless someone steals your phone and your case, you're all right. Besides that, you're all right, aren't you? <laughs> so I've just asked a very valid question, and that is the security of this, uh, these things, because you can actually use this method in conjunction with unlocking your house as well. So if someone steals your phone and knows where you live, technically they can get in the house. However, uh, they've just told me that you can actually make it so you have to uh, use your fingerprint, similar to um, if you pay with WeChat Pay. So essentially, they would have to have your phone and your fingerprint, which makes it much more secure. And uh, that's definitely something that is worth noting because security is a massive issue when it comes to using new technologies like this. Okay, 
So this is a, a game that uses eye tracking to play the game. So basically you, you, <laughs> you look and follow the things to destroy them, I guess. So uh, let's give it a go. Look at it tracking your face, man. So basically where he's looking is where the target on the screen is going. And it's kind of funny because he's not really moving. <laughs> He's just stood still like a big doofus and uh, seems to be destroying all the monsters. How's that, mate? Is it working? That's weird. That is really weird, man. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is just a, a demo, really, to explain how eye tracking works. And they're actually developing this so you can use it by looking at your phone and they'll be able to track your eyes where they're looking on the phone screen. But they're not at that stage yet, but this just shows you how it will eventually work. Yeah, because you wouldn't really want it, you wouldn't really want to buy that game, but they're just doing that so the average person can see how that technology that works. works. Yeah. But it is That's kind of cool when you're on it. Is, yeah, yeah, it is. It's surprising. Oh, Seems to be a bit of a theme Holy in these uh, campuses and uh, whatnot. Everything's just absolutely immaculate. Oh, we can play hoopla. Oh, mate, I can whip your ass on that again. But they got those little um, cup seats, didn't they? Oh, yeah. I think I'll have to be having a go in one of them. It's a bit too hot to be sitting in the sun today, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it ain't too hot to be sitting in the sun. It's kind of, it's kind of nice. Oh, you're in blue on blue as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got exactly the same colour t-shirt on as a chair. You can win yourself a prize, Ollie. Oh, okay. And you can throw nice, the hoops though. on there and win yourself a prize, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure what's in there. You can grab some food. Looks That's like some food goodies okay. and stuff. Yeah. Go. Yeah, I'm lucky about that one. At least you got one. I got one. <laughs> So there you have it, some real life 5G and AI applications from Huawei. Um, awesome stuff, man. It's so interesting seeing, you know, how these technologies can be used to create convenience in people's lives and just be able to, um, you know, advance the human mind and intelligence in certain, in certain areas. And there's some really interesting tech on the horizon. And I think I'm happy to bring you this video because even before we went, I find it hard to um, think about how these things can be actually uh, used to adapt and, and, and enhance your life, like real life applications. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go for some food now, but that will be the end of this video. I hope you did enjoy, and let us know down in the comments which uh, bit of tech was your favorite. I think mine must, might have been the VR with the gun. I, I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, we will see you in the next one. Make sure you do like this video to help us out. Until next time, take care. Take care. I wouldn't mind a hot dog so, and chips. Uh, I shall wander over to Crackland. Oh. Sure. So, having hot dog and chips, are you? Chocolate chips.